Today you're going to learn how to install the Illusion Frameless Shower Door by Coastal Industries. Start by unboxing your unit. Make sure you have all the parts. A list of parts is included in your instruction manual. Measure the base opening along center of the shower curb. Trim the sill to 1 16th of an inch less than the measurement obtained. With the weep holes toward the interior of the shower enclosure, position the sill at the center of the shower curb. Temporarily tape sill to shower curb to prevent movement. Position the wall jams onto the ends of the sill and up against the shower walls. Plumb the jam and then pencil mark the installation hole locations. Remove the wall jams. Using a 3 16 inch drill bit, drill installation holes in the locations previously marked. Insert your plastic screw anchors. Reposition the wall jams and secure them using 1 1 quarter inch installation screws. Insert two setting blocks on the panel side of the sill cavity. Run a bead of clear caulking the full length of the wall jam on both inside walls. Set glass panel on top of the setting blocks and slide it into the wall jam. Cut and insert the horizontal vinyls to secure the glass panel in place. Measure in between the wall jam and panel glass. Cut dam sill to the measurement obtained less 1 16th of an inch. Install the vinyl strike onto the exposed edge of the glass panel. Make sure that the vinyl strike is firmly seated all the way onto the glass panel. Pick up the door assembly and insert its hinge jam onto the wall jam. Make sure that the door swings toward the outside of the enclosure. On the strike edge of the door glass, center and install the door strike vinyl. Place the door strike over the vinyl and tap it into place. Carefully trim any excess vinyl as required. Trim the bottom seal vinyl to half an inch more than the measurement obtained. Insert trim seal vinyl into the vinyl strike post. Then insert the magnet strip into the vinyl strike post. Next, insert the remaining vinyl seal and trim excess as required. When satisfied with the door's position, secure the hinge post to the wall jam. Install the black plastic jam caps. Trim the jam caps to ensure that they are flush with the wall jam. Insert two clear plastic bushings into the holes of the glass for the seat pole handle. Attach the seat pole handle to the door. With the wing of the drip rail positioned toward the inside of the shower enclosure, insert the drip rail onto the bottom edge of the door assembly. To ensure a watertight operation, run a bead of clear mildew-resistant caulk along the outside of the shower enclosure. 